I would say also, and it goes back to one of the other questions you said about, you know, how do people approach scripture and be silent and they find that difficult? Why do mm. we find it difficult? Mm. One of the reasons why we find it difficult is because when we're silent, things begin to surface from a deeper place within us. Things that perhaps we had put behind us that we didn't want to look at. And as you rightly say, when it comes to prayer and God, you can't fake it. it. You have to be real. And that's why if there's fear or anxiety or anger or whatever is going on inside of you, God already knows what's going on inside of you. But it's important for us to be able to invite him into it. But in meditation, at times, in meditation, we have to acknowledge that and invite him into it. But we have to go deeper than what we're thinking and what we're feeling. But sometimes it's hard to get past that. And we may have to just stay there and invite God into it. But if we can let go of the thoughts and the feelings and move to a deeper place, then we can begin to listen to God. But when you get quiet or silent, there's so much going on inside of your head. that It's very hard for it to actually calm down and to kind of become silent. It takes time. If you're not used to it, it takes time and practice, really. That brings me back to Advent. Like, I love this statue, to be honest, okay? Because I think it's very much an Advent statue of Mary waiting on the Word of God. So she waits and she ponders in her heart. And through the pondering and waiting on God's Word, God's Word then becomes flesh in her, in that sense. And that's the meaning of Christmas and the meaning of all of our lives, really, when the word of God can actually begin to take flesh in us, when we become another humanity for Jesus to live and to love again in and through us, where the spirit transforms us through the word of God, who then enters into us. Because this is what Christian prayer or Christian meditation is about. It's not simply about thinking or feeling. It's about listening to God, entering into a relationship with God, so that we are transformed by that relationship. Any friendship you have affects you, it transforms you, it changes you. And this is eminently true of our relationship with God as well too. This is why we need time and space to be present to God and to listen to God. Because when we're quiet or when we're silent, a lot of our desires begin to surface, a lot of our surface desires. But when you're silent and quiet, you begin to get in touch with your deeper desires. And when we get in touch with our deepest desires, we discover that is also God's desire for us. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the Watch More box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.